The gods built Gilgamesh a best friend made just for him to temper his pig-headed ways. Made of clay and the spit of the gods, Enkidu was the name of this wild creature, and Shamat was the prostitute who lured it from the ways of the wild. With seven days of nasty sex, where no orifice went unspelunked. And when it was discovered that Gilgamesh was to be married, Enkidu said, mm 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 no sir, not until he wrestles me in front of his bridal tent for all of Uruk to see. And Gilgamesh took up the challenge, and it is said that they did wrestle, but it soon turned into hugging and tugging and laughing and kissing over and over, hugging, tugging, Tugging, hugging, as the two rejoiced in having found each other so well matched. Gilgamesh found a deep, deep, deep respect for this formidable creature. They soon became the best of friends and went on countless adventures. But when Gilgamesh turned down the lusty advances of the goddess Ishtar, she sent the bull of heaven as revenge for his impudence, and Gilgamesh, with the help of Enkidu, killed the sacred beast, removed its genitals, and hurled them back at the gods as proof of their conquest. The gods repaid this insult by deciding not to strike down Gilgamesh, but Enkidu, with a slow, torturous death.